The Phantom Menace has one of the most significant lightsaber duels in Star Wars history, as the Jedi and the Sith face off for the first time in decades. As the Sith have been in hiding for several centuries during the era of the Rule of Two and Darth Bane, and the Jedi have all but suspected the extinction of their ancient order. In this climactic battle between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan against the Sith assassin Darth Maul, Qui-Gon is isolated and is unable to contend with the younger combatant, being struck down by the Sith Lord as his apprentice hopelessly watches unable to intervene. In the novelization for The Phantom Menace, Obi-Wan is washed over by a sense of anger and hatred for Maul in this moment and attacks the Sith Lord full on. This is by far the most aggressive we've seen Obi-Wan during this battle and for the entirety of the prequels for that matter. Unknown to even himself in this moment, Obi-Wan gives in to the dark side urges and allows the dark side of the force to fuel his attacks against Maul. And although he is successful for a moment, he ultimately begins to falter as he uses his rage against the Sith Apprentice. In the novelization though, we get insight into Obi-Wan's mind rather than just watching it play out on screen. And through the force itself, Obi-Wan hears the voice of Qui-Gon on, telling his apprentice to trust only in the force and to be mindful of his emotions and the dark side creeping within his very veins. Obi-Wan, hearing his voice, is able to center himself and after he is pushed momentarily down the reactor shaft, Obi-Wan is able to center himself yet again through the force as he hears his master's voice and is able to defeat Maul without using the dark side. This is a very important moment for the character of Obi-Wan as again the novel does confirm he gave into the dark side of the force momentarily when fighting Maul. He is driven into a rage after seeing his master stabbed by Maul and his rage is only broken when Qui-Gon reaches out to him through the force. It is possible that Obi-Wan could have defeated Maul by turning to the dark side and likely that he would have struck him down out of anger. This is the greatest moment of the dark side speaking to Obi-Wan that we see in the entire prequel trilogy. Obi-Wan shares a deep connection with Anakin also and a relation to Anakin in Attack of the Clones. As in Attack of the Clones, after Anakin's mother is killed by Tusken Raiders, Qui-Gon can also be heard reaching out to the young Skywalker. <laughs> The major difference though is Anakin does not listen and gives into the dark side fully, killing the entire Tusken clan when Obi-Wan listened and pulled himself back, deciding not to strike Maul down out of anger, Obi-Wan excelling where Anakin would later fail. Obi-Wan giving into the dark side of the force is something that you can slightly see when watching The Phantom Menace, but the novelization really highlights this moment and how it's so important for the young Padawan. Not giving into the dark side is likely why many of the Jedi Council members deemed Obi-Wan worthy of becoming a fully formed Jedi Knight. And again, this is one of the most impactful moments in Obi-Wan's history. But did you guys know this before this video? And what are your thoughts on Obi-Wan excelling where Anakin would later fail and Qui-Gon reaching out to both of them, telling them to hold on and to not embrace the darkness that they felt in that moment. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.